Did you ever wonder why there's no Democrats on Mount Rushmore? Yeah, me neither. Did you ever wonder why Republicans consider themselves to be patriots when they know f all about United States history? All right, bud, let me help you out here. These two guys weren't Democrats because the Democratic Party didn't exist when they were the president. Uh, this guy right here believed that the Constitution should be shredded every 20 years and rewritten. These two guys were Republicans, but this guy thought the Republican Party had moved too far to the right after his presidency. So he decided to run again for president, only this time he formed his own third party, the Progressive Party. So this TikToker makes an excellent point about Republicans not understanding basically anything about American history, but specifically regarding Mount Rushmore, it's actually very, very telling. Because let's ask, what is Mount Rushmore? Well, Mount Rushmore used to be a mountain called the Six Grandfathers and it was considered incredibly sacred to the indigenous folks that lived in the region. And now, here's what's wild. You see a bunch of white supremacists organize an effort to blast that mountain and to put the faces of four American presidents onto that mountain. Literally, the entirety of Mount Rushmore exists as a white supremacist monument to not only erase the existence of indigenous folks in the United States, but also to superimpose white Americans onto that. But then let's talk a little bit about the Republican Party and the Democratic Party and what they actually do. Well, the truth of the matter is both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party represent business interests. They just represent the interests of different businesses. At the time, Abraham Lincoln represented the business interests of the new industrial capitalists who had realized that through wage labor, slavery was simply not economically necessary and was actually a significant liability in terms of the United States state's ability to engage in international trade because, and this is wild, other countries had already banned slavery and were starting to get really upset about the United States keeping it around. So there was a war between the two major economic interests in the United States, which is the plantation owners and the factory owners. So even then, while Abraham Lincoln did make a lot of significant accomplishments, he's not really the super moral icon that he's usually held up to be. Because remember, when people were freed from slavery in the United States, they pretty much immediately went into sharecropping, which also sucked. And while we can make an argument about how Abraham Lincoln's reconstruction, had it actually been able to come to fruition, would have been a little bit different, we do need to recognize that even Abraham Lincoln made a lot of concessions to the former slaveholders that he really shouldn't have. But if you fast forward to today, you can see that the business interests that Democrats and Republicans are working for today have very much different alignments than they did during during the Civil War, during Abraham Lincoln's era. But now today, all of these coalitions have changed. I mean, just look at the Democratic Party, for example. They have a big interest in industries that really don't have like an explicit interest in overt bigotry, although they do work for industries that have a ton of bigotry built behind algorithms and sort of the managerial processes of how the United States runs. But at the very least, they will claim to outwardly not be racist. Whereas the Republicans, the business interests they work for, like for example, payday lenders, really stands to gain from having a highly unequal society and especially having people kept in perpetual poverty because there's an entire poverty economy that exists within inside the United States that have coalesced around the Republican Party Republicans are free to be as racist bigoted or fascist as they please so long as they're keeping poor enough to keep in that debt cycle but of course all of this reality doesn't stop Republicans from claiming some sort of long history of representation in the United States some sort of adherence to the United States Constitution and it's all fundamentally ridiculous. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Corolla on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.